2022 was a hard year. A good number of people had their share of success, but I know a lot of people who have had things be quite up and down. Be it in their professional lives or their personal lives. I've had quite a lot on both things. There was quite a bit of growth for me in 2022, and Walker was a big opportunity for sure. I put in so much work to try and grow, improve, get feedback, and just be better. I'm far from perfect, I make plenty of mistakes, but I feel I have done a lot of good this year. 2022 led me to improve in various ways. All layers of production have improved, or so I think. But I dwell more on what went wrong. I feel like my effort is going to the wrong place, that this isn't what I should be going for. I should go back to a more normal workforce, not for any reason beyond it being the better option. For all the growth I did have, I still feel like I didn't grow as much as I was supposed to, be it my own fault or forces out of my control. I feel like an outsider to the community. Everyone deals with the loss aversion and the fact that negativity affects you harder than positivity, but negative comments seem to hit harder than ever, even when they're actual criticism and well-made comments. And no matter how many comments around it praise how I've saved their gameplay, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. As a guide or content creator, I'm just... lesser. The community I do have, I appreciate so very much. I'm so insanely lucky that anyone wants to follow my content, be it main channel, side channel, or streaming. Which feels like part of my issue was that I streamed a lot on YouTube, that I shouldn't have bothered with that, but side tangent, I am so lucky anyone follows. But the reality is, I feel like it's a lie. Nothing is forever, and the fact is, e-fame, if you could even call what I have e-fame, is even more fragile than any other fame. It can all disappear overnight, no matter how much I work. Even if my guides were the objective best, better than anyone else's attempts, I would be in the same situation. It doesn't help that this has probably been the lowest I felt with raiding. My first static was wholly unprepared for Alexander Gordia Savage back in the day. It took a month to be a basic DPS check, often not even seeing enraged because of other things just not being done right. I later joined a different static and got to experience the pain that was Savage Living Liquid. I burned out on the game so bad that I unsubbed and quit for all of 3.2. For the first time since returning in 3.3, I got that same feeling again. Burnout. Extreme, intense burnout. Asphodelos went pretty well, Reaper was fun to learn and raid with, but then Dragon Song Reprise came out and things kinda all fell apart. Prague was slow, and we eventually quit early into Phase 6. I stopped having fun. I thought the fight was cool and was fun, but I was not having any. Even partway into Abyssos, I essentially stopped playing the game, logging on for tomes and raiding only. The tier went poorly too. For a good four months, I just didn't play. Raids and videos was everything I stayed for, which I'm sure didn't help the burnout. After reclears ended, I essentially stopped logging in entirely. Anytime I needed footage for Eorzean Hoarders, at most. I left the group with reclears end. I'm unsure if I made the right choice, but I've joined a new group for the Omega Protocol. While I'm mostly out of the burnout, the mental toll is very much still there. My personal life hasn't gotten out unscathed either. Some major events occurred and has changed quite a bit of what the future looks like for me. I can easily say that the current overall result is by far a huge win for me, but the trials I went through to get this result have definitely left a stain. I try not to talk about my personal life ever, I'm generally not one to do so, but it's definitely been an aspect that has made my mental state more strained. 2023 I expect to be no less turbulent. Going into a groupless, an outsider, and the usual yearly emotions. I intend to continue my content, but it's hard to feel like that I'm not already on my way out. I'll still want to do job guides for 7.0, but I don't know if there will be anything beyond that or make it a main focus. In the meantime, I intend to put in full effort as I have been doing, which includes a re-release of something Common asked for, but I left down. Last year for Endwalker, I did a tier maker of all the dungeons in the game while I worked on Endwalker guides. Reactions were mixed from positive, to good criticism, to people intentionally misrepresenting my comments. I don't like that I've kept them hidden and all. It is content I did, and it did take hours to do and put together and render and all that. Relatively, it was easy content to make, but it was hardly a zero-sum effort. 
so I'd like to put them back out, with an added disclaimer about their age. Since those videos were made, there have been a number of entire dungeon revamps, so a disclaimer was needed. With Eorzean Hordes completely released, these videos will be weekly uploads for the next month while I figure out what content to make next. There's a number of videos on the list to put together, and I'm always taking more feedback and suggestions, especially on my Discord. Last year, I was unsure what the future held, but I had hoped that I was on the right track. Things had changed for the better in a lot of ways, but now I'm left to wonder if I shouldn't have ended things there while I was ahead. Move on to something new. 2023 is going to be a year of change, for a lot of people. I can only hope it's in the positive direction. May the power of Anadid Hogs lay waste to your enemies.